Hey, what's up guys? Bodie Davidson back with another video for you. So today's video is going to be an Adplexity e-commerce review video. And what that is, is a Shopify product research tool. And it's something that I've been using lately. So I just wanted to go over it and show you guys how it works. So pretty much it's very easy to use. What you've got here is product strength. And if we just go on this one, you can see that this is 233. What product strength means is the bigger the store product strength, more popular it was within specific date range. So they uh, make make up that based off of all their data that they have on these products. So you can have date added to store. You can play around with price. So let's say um, a lot of you guys that have followed for a while would know that I'm not into free just pay shipping because you don't make any money out of it. Uh, or very lim very little money for all the effort you put into how many sa sales you have to put through a Burlo or Dropified. So let's put it at between, what if we go, how about 19 to $50 range, which is a good kind of range. You're gonna be able to make some profit out of it. Um, you can do category here. You can do uh, with Facebook ad copy, fulfilled by all. These are all just things that you can play with as you see. Uh, you can even enter a store name here. But anyway, what it's going to show you is products promoted and you can go up here as well, sorry. And let's just go last seven days. Now this is the beauty of this um, Shopify product research tool is that if you have it in the last seven days, you know that a product is popular recently. Whereas the problem is with uh, doing your Facebook product research sometimes, the product might be hot for a certain amount of time, but you don't know if it's still selling. When you're only getting data for the last seven days, or you can do last three days, or even yesterday, as it says, you're getting something that is currently trending or currently selling. So you're going to be able to get in on that product. Um, it's really, really handy. So we'll just go last seven days and see what pops up. As I said, Obviously things that are to do with Halloween are gonna be up around this time, but you can see a lot of different things here. Like what do we got here? Pillow for sleeping with micro air balls. And then it's given you uh, the prices here. And the other thing is, so let's go this stitch LED lamp, which obviously something like that, you probably can't sell because it's got copyright, but I just wanna click on this and show you something. So loading up, now it's got the price here, store, and then you can obviously go to the store, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll also show you the other part of um, this website in a second where you can see that. You can see Facebook ads, so if we just click on that, oh, sorry, click on that. So then it's gonna show you their Facebook ads and what type of engagement they've got, etc. You can go and see what Facebook page it is. So there, straight away you guys will be realizing how handy this can be. You can go and check out everything. Um, it's showing you product strength. It's showing you uh, price changes, etc. So it's pretty, pretty in depth and pretty cool. So if we just go back for a second, if we were to open up AliExpress, and let's say we put in the stitch, as I said, I wouldn't sell this one particularly because you don't want to get done for copyright, but if we just pull it up and then we'll just go most ordered as you do. And what you're going to see is how much the people are actually paying for this thing and then what it's currently selling at. So then the reason that that's important and the reason that I care about that is because then you can go off that by, and see if you're actually gonna make much profit off it. So if you can get it for like, what is it? 12.73 with free shipping or if you have to pay for e-pack it, but it might even only be 15 bucks, but then you can sell it for like $42. There's obviously some good profit there instead of making these tiny profits from doing things like free just pay shipping or trying to compete against other guys and like your price range is very small and your budget, uh, your profit is very small. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that as well. Then we can go down, obviously you would go through it all and check out all the different products here. I'm not gonna go through all of that though. 
The next part I want to show you guys is it's got the find stores. Now this is really handy as well. So we'll click on that. I'll just X out these other two. So find stores. It's going to come up with a lot of stats on them. You can click through them. Um, you can search different types of stores. Uh, yeah, you can change all of this stuff as well. Last seen, last added. Um, yeah, then you're going to get all these stats and you can go and check them out. Movement watch pops up. So some of these stores are going to be so big that it's not really going to help you. Like I know for a fact that Fashion Nova is gigantic and like look at the products on there that's not really going to help you something doing that much volume but it's good to have a look at but these other stores that you can find on here like what do we got here outdoor voices let's just have a look grunt style what do they got 30 1370 so let's have a look at this click on this and then you're going to get some stats Actually, I've seen this website before. Now I think about it. Yeah, so then you're gonna go through and be able to check out everything that they're selling and all that cool stuff. That's funny, it just had a pop up straight away. So you know that it's Shopify store, of course. But yeah, it's giving you stats. It's giving you um, store strength. The bigger the store product, more popular it was within specific date range. And yeah, you're just gonna be able to go through and find so much information about the stores. Um, down here, you can edit all of this as well. So if we put, let's say we put hunting, then it's gonna bring that up. So, you, you know, you can niche down on what you're gonna find. What's that one? Arm the animals, AF nation. Yeah, it's going to bring up a heap of different things. Then you can go store strength, change that as well. Um, added new products. What else have we got here? Has product from category. Oh, that's what I should have put hunting in, sorry. Hunting, see, and then it brings up a heap of stuff here as well. So it's very cool. Uh, number of products. Maybe you don't want to look at the massive ones, so you want to bring it down to like, Oh, sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh no, it's loading, that's why. So maybe you bring it down to like 50 products or 46, close enough. And then it's going to show you smaller stores. Um, yeah, then you would change from hunting to whatever you want there. Cheapest price, most expensive product, app used. So there's so many things you can do with this. It's actually crazy. I haven't played with this part as much. I've played with the product research heaps because let's face it, product research takes the most time and is the most important thing because you're not gonna make any sales if you don't have a good product and you don't put it in front of the right people. So very, very handy. Uh, of course, we've got popular apps. So you can put in an app name here and it, it'll load up all apps, but you can put in app names there and go through all that stuff as well. Nothing, I haven't played around with that at all. You can have product favorites, store favorites. So let's just go back to find products here. And yeah, last seven days. So let's just go yesterday again, or you can go today. Eh? Go today. I thought it only had yesterday. So it even comes up with today and what's selling. And if we move this price, let's go. Let's go zero to twenty three dollars. Um, so we've got this memes merch. You, the cool thing is that you can go and check out all of the stores as well. So not only you get obviously this has been selling. I've seen that everywhere. Not only are you going to see what the product is, but you can also go to the store. Then what are you going to see? You're going to see more stuff from the store as well. So. You can also check out the Facebook ads as well. Oh, that one is no longer available. But yeah, you can see product strength, latest products from this store down here. So it's telling you more of their latest products, like dog selfie stick. I haven't seen that. Um, these have been around for ages. That's been around for ages. So yeah, you can go through everything that way. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of an Adplex the e-commerce review. It's something that I've been using because I'm trying to save time these days. I don't have that much time. That is my biggest problem. So 
The last thing I want to do is be spending ages doing all my Shopify product research when I can get my VAs to play around with this and also be able to play around with myself and using all of these features to be able to find products quicker. The quicker I find them, the quicker I can test products, the quicker I can find winners, scale up and keep on moving from there. So yeah, a bit of a review for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very handy uh, Shopify product research tool. I'll leave the link to it down below for anyone interested. For now, this is going to be me signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch up.